There's been a feature missing from OpenTunes since its very first release. And for a program working with images, it's been long overdue coming. But thanks to Jeremy Bullock for the original implementation into Homer 2D, and to JustBurner for porting the feature to OpenTunes very recently, we can now paste external clipboard images directly into OpenTunes. And this is available in the current nightly build and from version 1.7. So let me show you how it works. So I'll do this from a Google image search. And you might use your own photos or images that you've been given from elsewhere. But here in Google image search, I've already done a search for Robin Hood. And you might remember this or some of these images from an earlier video where I used one of these images to demonstrate the transparency feature in OpenTunes. So the images that you see here are just thumbnails, so don't use these directly. Just find the image that you want to use, say this one here, and then click on it. And then you see a large image over here on the right hand side, and that's the one that we'll use. So just right click on the image and choose copy image. And then in your project in OpenTunes, select a frame and just press your paste keyboard shortcut. And it'll tell you you're pasting an external image from the clipboard and asks what you want to do. So here you'll create a new raster level and the image will appear. Or if you've already got a raster level, as I now have, if you go to the next frame and then paste the image, that'll paste directly into the same drawing level. As you can see over here in the level strip on the right hand side. But if you leave a gap of one or more frames before you paste, Again, it'll ask if you want to create a new drawing level. And here's a cool feature. If you choose the selection tool from the top of the tool list there before you paste, then when you do paste, the selected image will already be selected. So now you can move it to anywhere you like on the screen, or you can resize it. And don't forget, if you hold the shift key, That keeps the image at the same ratio rather than stretching it in just one direction. And this isn't just for adding an image that you found on Google, but I'll tell you about that in one minute. Because first, I want to quickly thank my Patreon supporters for all their support recently. A special thanks to Maria, Rodney and Robert. My final tip is you can paste anything that you've copied into the clipboard into OpenTunes. For instance, in Windows, there's a snipping tool that's really handy for doing this. So just Hold the Windows key, Shift key, and press S. And then with the default option, you can draw a box around anything on your screen. And this copies it to the clipboard, ready to paste elsewhere. For instance, into OpenTunes. So if I go to this YouTube video that I've got here already set up and paused, maybe we're analyzing the walk cycles here. So you want to use this as a reference, or maybe using this image in our animation. So let's make it full screen to get the largest possible image reference. Hold the Windows key, press Shift and press S, and then draw a box around the character that you want to copy. And then going back to OpenTunes, I'll create a brand new column. Hide the old column and add a raster level. And then in that drawing, I'll just press Ctrl V to paste the image there and move it to the side and resize it. And now I can use this image as a reference. But using added images as reference isn't the only thing you can do with pasted images. So for copyright free images, for instance, or your own photos, you can use them as backgrounds, or you can use them with a the plastic tool to create your own animations, or connect different parts of your drawing together in different columns and use them as cutout characters. And because the images are pasted into a standard raster level, you can also use the eraser to remove parts of the image, leaving just the character that you want to work with. So you can remove the background here, and then you can use the character as you choose to do. But what else can you do with the images when you've added them? Well, these videos just here will give you some ideas. And this is such a useful new feature, I'm sure you can think of more uses of it. So please do let me know down in the comments below. And maybe I'll make a video about those. And I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a guarantee.